just testing the output from the optocouplers of the dual power supplies. On the scope you can see channel A and channel B are equal in magnitude. There's a little bit of ringing, but we can correct that later. But the important factor is this area here as a period of quiescence or dead time. And just to show that these are plus and minus that's zero volts and that's DC coupling so you can clearly see we've got a minus voltage appearing below the zero volt line and that's the same on the top top channel let's just take that out. channel two bit of a slight offset thing there but it's still going negative which is great for pulling the gate down. Okay so the gate drive power transformers are switched on, the oscillator is powered by a computer power supply 12 volts, so that's all fired up. This is the DC capacitor arrangement coming from the rectifier, I've got a decoupling 4.7 nanofarad capacitor across and that's my isolation transformer arrangement. So from 240 in that would give approximately 700 volts out but I'm not going to go that high I don't need to and then from the capacitor bank goes to our two my two um, IGBTs so you'll have to check your pin out according to the devices you plan to use but essentially they're quite similar in the fact that they have common correct characteristics they have a gate you can see my twisted pair of leads Okay, it's not ideal, but everything goes back from the board, from the OptiDrive stage to the gates. Okay, and then we have the emitter on the top connected to the collector of the bottom. That goes into this pin. We follow it round. That goes into the primary and parallel capacitor for the transformer is here and then out of the capacitor goes into the middle leg of the capacitor bank so as these devices switch each capacitor takes its turn dumping DC which changes direction across the coil and you get an output so let's crank up the, the variac see we have some output on there now this is this drive allows me to tune the frequency so if I vary the frequency we can find where this transformer peaks in the objective I have as you can see here by the tuning I'm going lower in frequency we don't get as much output but potentially uh, less losses on the core material in this case it's ferrite so as we tune up, we can start seeing peaks occur. Keep going. Eventually we'll get to the end of the scale. See the peaks are starting to go. Oops, that's the end stop of the potential. So let's go backwards. And that looks pretty good just there. So in a typical situation, you would find the peak voltage where it resonates, you would choose this capacitor. This is just a random capacitor I hooked in line, and you would design it to resonate with the primary inductor. So everything on the secondary side is at one frequency, and the primary will be at the same frequency. So you have optimal transfer. Just bear in mind that you may saturate the core, so you can you can add gaps to uh, stop the core saturating. That's uh, another technique 
but um, let's turn it up a bit. There's an earthed wire. Okay, so you've got plenty of juice flowing around. Um, and let's just, just, just close it there. 